Welcome to the Sherlock controller screen training video. In this video, you will learn how to allocate jobs and use various features of the controller screen. The controller screen helps the controller to manage jobs by providing an overview of upcoming jobs and jobs in progress. Sherlock intelligently manages the jobs to highlight any issues, for example, if a driver is going to be late to the pickup, so that the controller can proactively manage the booking and notify the customer. To view the controller screen, let's go to the main menu, Controllers, Controller Screen. At the top of the screen, you'll see a series of tabs which include the Waiting to Allocate tab, where you can manage allocation of new jobs, the Work in Progress tab, which is used to control execution of jobs currently in progress, the Pre-Books tab, which shows upcoming bookings. The Issues tab, which shows issues as they occur during a job that require your assistance. And the Driver Chat tab, where controllers and drivers can communicate via text message. Underneath, there is a toolbar containing several panels. The Job Amend slash Info panel is used to amend and cancel jobs and add important notes displayed to all controllers. Using the Locate panel, you can see the pickup or drop off points and a route on the map. For jobs in progress, you can also see the current location of an allocated driver on the map. Allocate is one of the main panels on the controller screen as it is used to manage job allocation and pre allocation. Additionally, you can postpone allocation by putting a job on hold if you need to clarify some information or solve a problem. You can also ban drivers in this panel. In the Communication panel, you can send messages and make calls to customers and drivers. In the Tools panel, there are additional options to view all jobs booked by a particular customer or the jobs which a certain driver has been allocated to. Additionally, you can plan job allocation for a shift start or for the next morning using the Drivers Living Near Pickup option. It shows drivers who live within a certain radius of the pickup address. Please note that the available buttons differ slightly according to the different controller screen tabs, as each tab has its own specific function. Also, availability of buttons on each tab depend on the job type and status. Now, let's look at the set of filters which you can use to select jobs by different parameters. Click the link of the filter that you want to use and fill in the field. To remove all filters, click the Reset button. At the bottom left hand side of the screen, there is an execution history which shows all significant events relating to the selected job. Here, you can see the exact time that different stages took place at. For instance, allocation of a job or status changes, and who was responsible for this, as it can be either an individual user or the system in general. Next to the execution history, there are details and notes displayed on the screen. On the Details tab, you can see various job details, such as price, journey time, pickup, and drop-off addresses. On the Notes tab, there are notes added by controllers using the Create Note button. Double-click any of the notes to see full details. In Sherlock, the majority of jobs are allocated automatically if Auto Allocator is enabled in the system. This means that controllers can focus on the small percentage of bookings which require manual intervention. When a new job is received by the system and it is an ASAP booking, it is allocated quickly by Auto Allocator. Alternatively, if the new job is a pre-booking and the system estimates that it is too early to allocate it at the moment, the job will be displayed on the Pre-Books tab. When the allocation time comes, this pre-booking automatically moves to the Waiting to Allocate tab. For pre-books, you can see a driver who is supposed to be allocated and the planned allocation time in the AA Driver and AA Time columns on the Waiting to Allocate tab. In some cases, the job status in the AA Driver column may change to Offering or Bidding. If it is Offering, it means that the system has initiated the process of sending the booking as a job offer to drivers. Otherwise, if it changes to bidding, it means that the job is now available for drivers to bid on in the driver app. In both cases, the driver who is the first to accept the offer or bid will be automatically allocated to this job by the system. 
In rare cases, if auto allocator cannot allocate a job, the AA driver and AA time fields become yellow and the job is marked as manual allocation required. It may happen if auto allocation is not allowed for a particular area, service, customer account or some job details are incorrect. To see the exact reason, select the rejected job and click auto allocate. The reason will be shown in the confirmation dialog window. If the displayed issue can be resolved, please do it and then click auto allocate to let auto allocator try to process this job once again. If you see that the AA driver and AA time fields have become red and the job is marked as no driver, it means that auto allocator cannot find a suitable driver for the job. It may happen, for example, if there is no suitable driver for the selected service or special instruction. In this case, you need to allocate a driver manually. Sometimes, manual allocation is required alongside Sherlock's auto allocation. You may allocate jobs manually for some particular services such as minivan or bus with a limited number of vehicles or it may be that auto allocator cannot find a suitable driver and your assistance is required. There are two ways to allocate a job manually. You can do it either on the driver network map where you can see the current location of all available drivers or on the controller screen if you know what driver you're going to allocate to the job and don't need to check locations on the map. It is a good practice to have the controller screen opened on one monitor and the driver network map on the other. Firstly, let's look at how you do it on the driver network map. When you select a job on the waiting to allocate tab, you will see the pick up and drop off points on the map. Now, let's click the locate pickup button to zoom into the pickup zone and see available drivers nearby. You can use the Suitable Only button to see only those drivers who suit the selected job. Choose a driver on the map and click on his or her icon to see driver details in a pop-up window. If you need to contact the driver, you have the option to make a call or send a message. To allocate the selected driver, click Allocate. The system performs various allocation checks to make sure that the selected driver can do the job. If there are any issues, a warning window will be displayed. To proceed with allocation, you need to resolve the issue specified if possible. For instance, in some cases you can do it by changing driver or job details to pass all required checks. Depending on the settings, you may be allowed to override a low severity issue and proceed with allocation. Otherwise, you need to select another driver for this job. The second way to allocate a driver to a job is to do it on the controller screen. Click the Allocate button in the toolbar, select a driver in the dialog window and confirm allocation by clicking Allocate. If all allocation checks are passed, the driver will be allocated by the system immediately. As soon as a job is allocated on the Waiting to Allocate tab, it moves to the Work in Progress tab and job details are sent to the driver device. If for some reason the driver has not received the job details on his or her device, you can send them in a chat or SMS message using the Send Job button. After the driver accepts the job, the allocated status of the job changes to Driver On Way. In the Execution Control Panel, there are options to set statuses and finish jobs manually if the driver has connection problems. You can also unallocate jobs and reallocate to other drivers if required. Now, let's take a closer look at other tabs in the controller screen and the functionality you can use on each tab. On the pre-books tab, you can see upcoming pre-bookings and pre-allocate them to drivers in advance. By default, pre-books for today and tomorrow are displayed on this tab, but if you need to show pre-bookings for a longer period in advance, use the From and Till filters to change the period. To preliminarily allocate a job to a driver, use the Pre-Allocate button. Depending on the settings, the pre-allocated driver has an advantage upon job allocation and this driver will be most likely chosen by auto allocator. On the Issues tab, you can see various problems which cannot be resolved by the system automatically and require your assistance. To deal with an issue, click the Deal Issue button. By clicking on this, you confirm that you will manage the issue and it will no longer be visible to other controllers to avoid being dealt with by two people. To see more detailed information about the issue, use the View Details button. 
After you've read the information provided, do your best to solve the problem as soon as possible and contact a driver or customer if required. For instance, if you see that an allocated driver has lost the network connection, in some cases it might be a good solution to reallocate the job to another driver. When you're waiting for the driver or customer's response, you may postpone the issue temporarily. The system will remind you about this issue automatically when the time comes. After you have solved the problem, click the Close Issue button. On the Driver Chat tab, you can exchange messages with drivers. When a driver sends you a message from the driver application, it appears on this tab. Click Deal to open the message. Similar to issues, the driver chat will stop being visible to other controllers to avoid the query being dealt with twice. If the driver's problem cannot be resolved quickly and you want to come back to it later, use the Release button. Similarly, if you want to release a chat locked by another controller, you can use the Unlock button. After solving the problem, click Resolve to close the dialog window. Thank you for watching.